What's up everyone, Wild Schneider Outdoors. Sorry if it's dark in here, but today we are putting in our electrical system. This includes wiring up this cabinet, so that way we have our breakers, our batteries, this charge controller, all like the shunt, everything's gonna be wired up in there. We're gonna run all the cables that we need for the trailer for the future build. So we got our ports on the side, uh, wires run for the lights that we're gonna eventually have in here and then the fan, all that stuff, get all that put in, get the panel mounted on the roof, get the wires plumbed down through, get that all sealed up just in case it rains, which is kind of cloudy, so it might. But yeah, exciting day, getting this cabinet finally installed completely up against the wall, screwed down, secured, so that way I don't have to worry about it going anywhere. And of course, you guys are coming along for the ride to see how this goes. So next video in the trailer build series, here we go. All right, update. We've got the solar panel connections right here plumbed in. We're gonna get this all sealed up and secured down. We've got the holes pre-drilled for the solar panel. Made a boo-boo, accidentally drilled an extra hole. That's okay, we'll fix it later. But we can get the solar panel mounted so that way it's up here and good to go. Get the wires run, get everything run down inside so we can start building out the cabinet and then the roof is done, don't need to mess with it. So that's where we are. All right, now we gotta get the butyl tape, put it up on where all the screws are going to be coming in and that way we can get a double seal when we put the lap sealant over the top of that. Alright, now that we're up here, we have our holes drilled. Holes drilled, we'll get everything plugged up. Hope they're not touching. Nice tight connection here. Those are waterproof themselves. I'm gonna flip the panel over, get everything tucked in, get it secured. Got the lap sealant on, not beautiful. Lots of extra, but not a big deal. The more lap sealant, the better. All right, coming back in here. Electrical, today, here's what we got going on. So, in here, we've got the charge controller mounted, the batteries in place, we've got the breaker. The shunt is all wired in, right in there. Then we've got the breaker, coming off of the solar panel, and then the DC fuse box. Today, gonna get all these wires that are in here all out into the DC fuse box, find a place to get the battery monitor mounted, and yeah, should be good. Okay, super messy, but we've got... All right, so it has been one whole day since I re, or since I recorded that sped up footage of me wiring the fuse box. And I gotta tell you, my OCD kicked in and I just couldn't take it anymore. So 
Also, we added this, which is not completely wired in yet. I have to get it sealed up and let this dry because it got wet. So don't let that happen, but that'll be done. So this will all be wired and we'll be good to go. Got to show you what we've done in here. So cleaned everything up. This is our shore power. So that plug you just saw runs in through the floor. Everything siliconed in, good to go. Back in here, the breakers are all wired up. This is a 30 amp service, so we can plug in. Now we don't have a battery converter yet. Not gonna worry about that for now as we have the solar panel up top. But this when we're plugged into shore power, if we need to, we can run the air conditioner. Uh, we can also run our refrigerator. We have one plug that we installed on the side of this cabinet. Sorry, wires are everywhere, but one plug here. So if we have to, we can turn that on when we're plugged into shore power. And then of course our refrigerator. So that's there. Also safety switch for the solar system. It is not safe to work with solar wiring when the solar panels on the roof. So you have to have a way to isolate that. We added that cleaned up the wires, have everything running. So it's out of the way. We moved the fuse from the charge controller to the battery because it was in the way it was wrapped around the shunt. No good. We move, moved this breaker as well and then just cleaned up all the wiring for these, got everything secured in there, so that's that's done. Still haven't mounted this yet, but great little uh, controller here. So yeah, here it is, all complete. Just figured we'd wait to publish the electrical video until I cleaned this up, so now it is clean. Got the vent run and sealed in for the battery, everything is good to go. So that is it for the electrical for the most part. Um, place is a mess. You get going in project mode and everything just gets dirty, but now it's done. Have a couple of beds back here. The wife and I, uh, there was a thunderstorm last night and well, metal roof. So we wanted to come out and lay and listen to the rain and listen to the thunderstorm while being in our trailer. So we had some blow up beds laid down. But anyways, thank you so much for sticking with us today. The trailer build is coming along nicely and I can't wait to get everything else going. Now that the electrical is done, we can really start working on this hardcore. So Everything's coming in the mail. As soon as it gets here, we're going to start working on it and just keep posting videos. I want to get this trailer done as soon as possible. So thank you so much. Leave a like, leave a comment. If you feel like doing so, subscribe as videos are going to keep coming out. And of course, as always, stay wild. Oh, no.